high air signs. So the energy has been so heavy lately and I have a lot of people worried. I'm hearing from a lot of people worried about their love life. So I wanted to give some guidance on um, your love life. The energy I was feeling uh, for the love life for you guys, I definitely feel like someone misses someone. I really feel that. So once again, these won't resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, it's not for you. It's a lot of great readers. Also, you can check out Natasha's videos um, and some of that may resonate with you. So I'm gonna begin. Okay. So I have my rose quartz with me and I definitely felt like I needed to bring it because you guys need to work on some heart healing. And it's really good for healing the matters of the heart, of any resentment, things we're holding on to consciously and subconsciously. So the first card is the King of Sevs. Now, so there's a relationship going on where someone is trying to move forward and you've really been through a lot with this person and you're trying to come out of it and it seems like you are, but it's slowly. And you really have to figure out, is it worth Like, if you're gonna come out of this, do you need to come out of this and just be with you and self-love? Or are you gonna come out of this and be open to receiving new love? Because it seems like you've really been through a lot with this person and this back past. And I mean, this guy, look at him. He's injured. Look at the past behind him. And, but you're coming out with power. You're coming out with power, empowerment, self-empowerment, and you have to remember who you are, and you don't have to stay with someone or in a relationship that doesn't suit you anymore. If it's not for you, if the person's not for you, if you're evolving and they're not, that's a decision that they're making. I mean, if you're married, talk to the person. You guys can go to counseling. Um, if you're not, you know, you can do the same but you have to figure out if it's worth it or if you're coming out of some painful times to have a new beginning or with that person or a brand new beginning with someone new. The next card is the five of coins. So you see the woman carrying the baby. That's someone carrying weight through a storm. Uh, trying to get through it. The vision is still there for the coins, um, for the love, for the love you really want. And it looks, you know, she's pushing through it, but it's difficult. It's been difficult times with your love life. You've had to really <sighs> let me tell you guys something. If you choose you, then you'll know who to choose. People don't understand when you honor yourself, the different level of blessings that, that come, that can occur from honoring yourself. And I feel like you're making things a bit difficult on yourself, to be honest with you, with the choices in your love life. I feel like there's more than one person lingering around. 
And you may not even pay too much attention to the other person. You may not even know if some people are interested in you. But if you choose you, you really can have the life you want. But you have to self-love and you need to work on some heart healing. And uh, pray and ask for clarity. The next card is the Queen of Arrows. So the energy I'm feeling, I mean, well, first of all, let me just point out, do you see how nonchalant she is? Like she's sitting there with the arrows, but she's relaxed. Like she's there. Um, but she has the arrow waiting. And so you're tired of a lot of, a lot of crap that's happened. You're tired of it, you're sick of it. And you're sick of it, but I don't think you realize, once again, this ties back into what I was saying about the rose quartz and some heart healing. You could even um, buy yourself some flowers, do something nice for yourself because you're a bit on guard and it's difficult to let people in. That's why another reason you have to pray for clarity because you can have, you're coming out of such a rough time and this is for air signs again, Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. If it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. But you're coming out of such a difficult time. If you want to bring in the love you want if you want to have what you've always dreamt of you're going to have to let that guard down a little bit and allow someone in i want to pull one more card and then i want to pull a healing card for you for your heart you know relationships are difficult they really are and the most important thing for you to focus on is you because then everything aligns everything really lines up when you focus on you hmm. magic so there's a few things I feel from this card. Um, first of all, some of you may be working with some magic, you know, putting some effort into aligning things with someone, which isn't a bad thing, you know. Um, that's not my place to get into it's not my decision to decide what you feel like you need to do um, with your life or to align and manifest love so but you're creating magic as well for others you manifesting and you writing down write down exactly what you want in a partner be specific be clear from the smallest details to how much they make you laugh, him or her make you laugh and everything. You're also, some of you are just really manifesting something great, some great magic, some great relationship magic. So I'm gonna pull a card from Doreen Virtue's Angel Dreams deck for you guys. You know, you have to remember self-love is the best love next to God's love. You were made in his image. You were created. You were part of the universe. You're so amazing. And we forget sometimes. And we go through so many different things that we don't always remember our worth. And that's okay. You know, like that's okay that you forgot. Now it's time to remember. Beautiful. 
Dragonfly. Transformation, Magic, Illusions. I feel a lot of positive from the card. Um, I just want to tap into that illusion part. We create illusions sometimes in relationships because we don't want to face it for what it is. I did that before, I know, I get it. Um, be honest with yourself. Self-reflection is so important in life, but especially for the rest of September. Write down what it is you really want and be honest, is this person it? Is this person gonna do for you? Uh, you're going through a huge transformation and um, the relationship you want, magic is coming. You're creating magic, you're working with magic, Hopefully it's all positive. Um, remember you can't interrupt free will. Everyone has a decision and a choice to make. But yeah, you guys are, this is um, a lot of, you know, a lot of different changes, but I feel really good about it. I know it's difficult sometimes to see certain cards and you can get in your own head, but remember how far you've come you know, and take time for you and honor you and everything will align with your love life. I feel like huge new beginnings, transformations. Love and honor you and you're going to manifest with that person or with someone new. So I hope you like the reading. If you would like to book a personal, then you can email me at meditatingcoach at gmail.